Welcome to my project ideas. In this course we will learn SAP on Azure. This microlearning video is a part of an ongoing course, and in this video, we will discuss Azure Pipeline's overview. A pipeline is a user-defined flow of deployment steps. Azure 2 provides an option to design a pipeline. Azure Pipelines combines powerful automation activities such as continuous integration CI, and continuous deployment CD, to test, build and deploy developer's code. In this video we will try to understand all the important aspects of Azure Pipeline. Under Azure Pipeline we will discuss the following activities performed by a change manager. 1. Pipelines. 2. Releases. 3. Library. Let's understand in simple words the flow of a pipeline. Before a pipeline is built, a repository is created. When a new repository is created, it just has master branch. You need to create dev, release and prod branch with certain policies according to your requirement. Now, you need to create a pipeline. There are two ways to create a pipeline, one with the help of YAML, it adds a YAML file to your base branch, and secondly manually adding the tasks or stages in pipeline. Once you have created a pipeline, you can run it with the branch you want. On success, the pipeline creates a drop file or artifact that can be used by release for deployment. You can add a trigger A trigger tells a pipeline to run, in this case you can trigger it manually. Now, you need to create a release. Here, you need to specify the source. The build pipeline and a trigger to tell when to start deployment. Based upon the available environment, we will do configuration in release and create release after that. Once we start a release or build, the task to build or deploy is assigned to Azure Pipelines agents. These agents can be seen within agent pool jobs. An agent is a cloud infrastructure that runs a job. In our use case, it will run build and deployment respectively. Once the agent completes its job, the release pipeline will mark your stage as green. Now let us start with some hands-on. Firstly search Azure DevOps over Google and click the first available link you see in the search result. Now here, click on Start Free. If you are already logged in, you will be navigated to the portal else, you will be asked to sign in. Now, here you need to provide your project name and description. This project will create a repository. In the advanced option, you can choose the type of version control, we will leave as Git. Also, you can choose work item process, leave it as basic in case you are using a free version. Pipelines within the pipelines, as shown above, is the place where we define a build. A build is a deployable file, also refer to drop in DevOps, that is further transferred to releases for deployment. We can automate the operation of build, and that is then referred as continuous integration. We will learn the creation of pipelines in detail in the next video. Releases under pipelines is the place where we deploy the drop or build to a defined destination or environment. We can automate the releases too, and that is then referred as continuous deployment. We will learn creation of releases in detail in the next video. All the files that are used within pipelines and releases are saved here under Secure Files tab. We can access these files wherever we want. Many times we need to save a file at DevOps level and use it only during build or deployment. In that case, you can save the file within library and use it whenever and wherever required. In this video, we have discussed the concept of Azure Pipelines and Azure Pipelines flow. See you in the next video.